Okay, let's do another Newton's Law problem. In this one we have a 300 kilogram crate resting on a 15 degree ramp and we know the coefficient of friction between the crate and the ramp. We're going to apply a 4,000 Newton force horizontal to the ground. Uh, my problem says 400 Newtons but the diagram says 4,000 so let's, let's go with 4,000. The first thing we want to do is calculate the force of gravity force is equal to mass times acceleration. The acceleration is the acceleration of gravity. So F equals mg is uh, 300 kilograms times 9.8 meters per second squared. And that gives our force of gravity straight down as uh, 2,940 newtons. Next, we need to impose a new coordinate system on top of this ramp. Um, we don't like this um, tilt, so we put our coordinate system uh, parallel to the ramp and we'll resolve that gravity, that gravitational force vector into components along the y-axis and the x-axis. Similar triangles gives us 15 degrees there and there um, and so applying a little bit of trigonometry gives us the force in the y direction that is straight into the ramp is our 2,940 newtons times the cosine of that 15 degree angle. Make sure your calculator is set in degrees. And so that's 2,840 newtons, so most of it is into the ramp. And the force in the x direction is just the sine version of that uh, expression. And that gives us... Um, 76, 761 newtons. Okay, next we need to translate the 4,000 newton applied force, we'll call it F sub A for applied, into its X and Y components. So it has a long component along the X axis and a shorter component along the Y axis, and we'll call those F A X and F A Y. So F sub A Y is going to be equal to are 4,000 newtons times the sine of our 15 degree angle and that gives us um, 1,040 newtons. Our other component of that 4,000 newton force along the ramp is 4,000 times the cosine of 15 degrees and that gives us uh, 3,860 newtons in that direction. Okay, so next we need to calculate the normal force so we can find the force of friction. The normal force goes along our y-axis and it is the um, y component of the gravitational force plus the y component of our normal, our, our, sorry, our applied force. So that's 2,840 plus 1,040 for 3,880 newtons of normal force. What you have to be careful about is how you add these vectors. Um, I've just added them together, but what I'm understanding here is that F sub Y and F sub AY both point in the same direction, namely into the ramp. So I can just add those. Alright, so then the force of friction is mu, the coefficient of friction, times the normal force. So that's going to be 0 0.193. <clears throat> that's a unitless quantity, times our 3880 newtons, and so we have our um, frictional force, which opposes our pushing force of 789 newtons. So we can mark that on the diagram. This is our frictional force here opposing the motion. Okay, so now we're ready to calculate the net force uh, up or down the ramp, in the direction along the ramp. And that consists of three components. Uh, the applied force, the force of gravity that's pushing the crate down the ramp, and the force of friction, which is also working down the ramp. So there's our gravity pulling the crate downward, and here's our frictional force, both opposing the pushing force. Almost there. Just need to plug in some numbers now. The force in the x direction is the applied force, 3,860 newtons, minus the part of gravity that pushes down the ramp, 761 newtons, minus our frictional force, 789 newtons. And so that net force, um, which will be pushing up the ramp, is 2,310 newtons. And so now we're in a position to calculate the acceleration force is equal to mass times acceleration 
and so acceleration is force over mass and so we have 2310 divided by the mass of the crate 300 kilograms and that gives us our answer 7.7 .7 meters per second squared of acceleration awesome